Welcome to the uh, June Santos board meeting. So we've got our previous uh, meeting minutes up in for review, if anyone wants to check those out. And the most part, uh, things have been fairly quiet. Uh, one of our new exciting things, let me share my screen. Uh, I know, I know, I'm using Wayland, so I have to click like 12 things. Hey, it's refusing to let me share my screen. So, um, we have uh, one open uh, new discussion item where Davida created a Ask the CentOS Board Matrix Room, which is an exciting place for people to come and show up and drop questions off if they want to throw something there, and we will theoretically see it. I have left the link in the meeting minutes for folks who are interested in the recording who want to join. So I hope that this will prove to be another useful way of getting a hold of us. On the uh, ongoing tickets, uh, this is uh, basically the last chance to stop me from merging with the retirement uh, proposal for the pro uh, the retirement process proposal. There we go. Words in the right order, Pat. So unless there's any objections, I will merge that when the meeting is over. Uh, it's been out for review for three months and nobody's complained. And we just didn't actually set up hard target deadline last time. So uh, is anyone now? What's up, Amy? I can't figure out. Oh, there it goes. Um, there should have been above that, kind of related to that issue, though, a link to our open PRs I had put on as an agenda item. It should be there. Um, just that I think there's some that we can definitely close out, like yours and my 212, because I think 212 got merged as part of 213, but there were some older ones I thought we should look at. There's like three or four older ones. Okay. Um, I'll drop a link in the thing. It is still in the agenda, right? Um, I don't see it in the agenda, but my browser has been being stupid. I had to drop the cache three times to get HackMD to render. Okay. So I blame the internet for being weird today. <laughs> and it's annoying weird rather than its normal level of just strange things happen on the internet. So yeah, we've got a couple of open pull requests for the CentOS website, it would be good to look those over and try and get as many of those reviewed and closed out just to get things cleaned up for various folks with various issues. Uh, from our list of randomly selected issues, uh, we ended up with some stuff that mostly requires us to talk to Brian Stinson, who is not here. So that, uh, has pros and cons. Um, it will be nice and fast, but unfortunately not a lot of uh, data there. Uh, the first one in that list is for the SIG Council, which is uh, there to start establishing some sort of processes and practices to help keep the SIGs ordered and uniform. And we need something like that for Microsoft to sign off on our secure boot key, where this connects into the uh, trusted uh, SIG uh, boot uh, the trusted secure boot route. And so those are two of our sort of longer ongoing issues that don't have a whole lot of technical stuff. Sean, what's up? Uh, do we know if Mr. Stenson will be at Flock and if relevant SIG leads who would be on the SIG Council would be at Flock? Uh, I think there's some, some leeway in time where we could do a, a meetup. To work through some stuff yeah i do not personally know but i'm planning to be at flock and i am happy to talk to everybody i think brian said he's gonna be there and when i, I guess, saw um, and when i saw alexandra last week she was going to 
apply for a visa and see if she could get through. That would be great. Davida? I bumped into Parian this morning at the Reddit office in Brno, but I neglected to ask him. I will ask him if I see him again here in Brno. Okay. It would be awesome to uh, make some motion on that, as that will. Uh, I'd love to have something in place for Stream Ten, and I think that that brings us over to our community architect updates. So, Sean. Wow, already? It's 10 after. Uh, I have very little. Uh, just a reminder, uh, CentOS Stream 8 went EOL um, about like two weeks ago, last month. Um, that went smoothly. I didn't see a lot of um, kerfuffle. CentOS Linux 7 will go EOL on June 30th. Uh, <clears throat> CentOS Stream 10 is out. Um, <clears throat> there are you know, I would say for testing and development purposes, uh, composes out on mirror.centos or mirror.stream.centos.org. Uh, so um, those exist and you can play with it yourself or tell people that you talk to about it. Um, and uh, just as a matter of priorities, I know we, we mentioned there's a number of website uh, issues and I'm, I'll go through those. Um, I am, trying to see what we can accomplish with the website uh, on the time frame of, of this month. Um, Cause it'd be really good to like, okay, CentOS stream 10 is out. And as of June 30th, like there really shouldn't be any pushing of the, the CentOS Linux seven. Uh, it's, a, it's got a pretty prominent spot right now on the website. So um, I know Alain has some uh, redesigns. I don't know what the time frame is to get those out, but I, at, at the very least content changes to, um, make the website reflect what we want to reflect now and not reflect you know three years ago so um that's it if anybody is interested in participating that you know ping me on matrix or whatever uh and then one other note that i will be uh i will be on vacation uh next month so i will probably not attend um depending on how time zones work out i might jump into the meeting but um uh but I might not. So that's it. Okay. So Troy, you popped a hand. Yes, uh, the definition of out is different depending on your definition of out. It is on the mirrors. <clears throat> it it uh, like the repos are still pointing at the compose production. We um, the kernel is the release candidate kernel from several months ago. So it is technically out. Your your mileage may vary. Um, so and perhaps what you're looking for is present. It is present. <laughs> yeah. It's not out. It's there, but it's not out. It, it does install. So I will say that it installs um, and and that's good. I, I, I can confirm the installing. Yes. So, uh, Tomasa, if you're up next. Yeah, yeah I, just, I just wanted to, to say as well, uh, thanks for all the work on, on Stream 10 for everybody. And uh, I, I'll, I'll abuse Troy a bit. Is, I remember a nice talk about FL10 at, um, at um, what was uh, CentOS, uh, FOSDEM CentOS uh, Connect. And uh, as soon as we have news around FL, uh, should we as well promote it a bit when we start to be able to build for FL10? Yeah, I would love for a whole bunch more communication around all of this. Okay, so let's plan something yeah. on the blog maybe as well as soon as we have something. I, I'm not putting pressure on anybody. It just would be nice to, when we are kind of ready to build more stuff on text, to announce it, wait. And uh, I believe Davide, you're up next. And on this note, as of last night, we can also build SIG content for 10. And uh, uh, Fabian did a lot of great work for this. And I was able today to start building packages for hyperscale. So that's pretty great. And it's already on the mirrors where it's supposed to be. And uh, I just checked. And even the logic for making release packages should be out there. So we should be able to have a release package soon and wire this up in mock and everything. So that, that makes me happy because I personally want to use this as soon as possible. So it's great. Excellent.
And Sean, do you have a hand? I do. Yes, I have two of them. Um, just following up on, on Troy's um, observation, I would love, uh, and I've said this before, to have um, some sense of named um, milestones, named composes, something, some way to refer to what exists right now, because it exists. There are, you know, you can download things from, from, uh, from the, the site. Uh, to distinguish it from what exists as of when you would call it a point oh, but it's not a point oh because we don't have minor releases. Um, and I don't know the terminology to use there. And I would um, um, I would welcome brainstorming around that. I think it would it would release a lot of confusion if we could refer to kind of explicit points in development cycle. Uh, Trey, did you want to follow up on that or your hand raise or both? Uh, my hand was raised for the Apple 10 thing, um, but I'll follow up for both. Um, Apple 10 was just discussed in the Apple uh, steering committee meeting an hour ago. Uh, we're going to, the official Apple 10 announcement is going to be somewhere around November ish probably around when beta and stuff is, there will be a soft release sooner, and we will probably be working on it in uh, at Flock. It, if it's ready, we might just be making packages. If it's not ready, we will be finalizing things at, at, at Flock. So there's the Apple thing. Uh, the other thing is for an announcement. I This time, because alpha confused people even more we were told not to use alpha and so you are correct we do not have a word for what we are currently in the state of it's definitely pre-beta because we but um i don't have a word i i, I like testable I, yeah i, I just <laughs> I think you were on to rather than pre beta, maybe just pre pre. Yeah. And then if alpha and beta is confusing, what if we just drop them? And rather than yeah. pre beta, we just pre. Pre. I think uh, Amy was up next. Yeah. So going back to Sean's talking about the point in time, a lot of projects do release minus number of weeks and then you know and then it's a countdown so it's r minus eight r minus seven we're kind of different what if we want to discuss things in point in time as r plus the number of weeks so like once 10 is quote unquote ready out you know, if we did something that could be R plus four, um, just a way of tagging things. Just a thought, because usually it's a countdown, not a count up. That's interesting. Uh, Davida? Um, in terms of how to frame this, I think saying that it's available for developers and contributors to start working on, and it's available for people to test, I think is a fair characterization. I definitely would not recommend people to use this in production as it is now. And I think conveying that things are still gonna change quite a bit between now and like what's gonna be the final content is probably worthwhile. Uh, but the gist is that like all of the plumbing is in place or at least most of the plumbing is in place. Uh, so if people plan to do work on stream or target stream or want to develop for stream or whatever, it's there and they can start doing that work with 10 and ideally give us feedback or fix whatever issues they find or so on. That sounds great. So uh, jumping to the other piece of Sean's community update, I was super hopeful to see Johnny here because I would love to have a CentOS retrospective now that 7 is coming to an end. And I think that that would just 
be a fun thing to get content for because we're officially moving to the end of that era. And since he's been involved with it since the day one, giving him a chance to talk about it in a sort of free form something or other. I, I would love to see something like that. But he's not here, so I can't sort of lean on him to, and beg. Um, So, Sean, do you think that you could chase him down since you've got internal contact for him? When people are in meetings, when their name is brought up, that's when you assign things to them. <laughs> yeah, I'll talk to Johnny. Awesome. As he might be more comfortable with the conversation rather than a typey, typey paragraph thing. Um, yeah. So Johnny's style has always been a little free. I don't want to pin him down. So, uh, Amy, hand. Yes. Um, going back to what Davida was saying, but I do like the idea about Johnny writing something. Um, we use tech preview a lot. So if alpha and beta are bad, could preview work as a term? That's very clever. Just a thought. Just a thought. As long as it's not one of those magic words that marketing people get iffy about, that sounds good to me. So usually in marketing, something that's in dev preview, it's like we're giving you a look at something, but it's not. So it's a little more than alpha, but it's like something that's going to come up in the next release or two. So we're just giving you a preview of it. I work. Yeah. Definitely. Um so that more or less brings us to the end. Um do we have any SIG reports? Automotive is coming soon. <laughs> and automotive has a quarterly one due, and we're coming soon. Yeah, cloud is coming soon. Okay. Uh, Davida? We are due for a report for hyperscale that uh, we have not even started writing. <laughs> and uh, I expect we will put something out after this week of madness at DEF CONF. Uh, and I suspect that this point will fold in also the, some of the Centen work that's been happening this week. Um, uh, I was also talking um, with folks in the integration SIG that are going to start working on a report on that end as well. So something should be coming out from that front too. Uh, I think that's it. As I understand it, school taught us not to budget in advance, but that we can in fact write a paper 10 minutes before it's due. Precisely. So I it think almost felt that's like all the six are writing them a report at the same time. We're all copying from each other. Uh, the essence of open source is to borrow good ideas from your friends. So I think that that it does have that we can remind us from Sean to yes. do it. There actually is, um, uh, I missed May, which means that there are two months worth of things. So your observation that all of them are doing it at the same time is is well supported by the facts. So I think that that's everything on our list. And that unless anybody's got anything else, you can get 30 minutes of your day back. Going once, going twice. All righty. Thanks, Pat, Thank for you. running the meeting. Thanks all for Happy attending. See you soon. Travel with safe. Bye. Bye. Thank you. Thanks all.